name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your heavenly Lord that uh, through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of your yearning, of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and the snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not flush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One does not live on a bread alone, but on every word that comes from forth from the mouth of God. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, In a praying, do not a bubble like a pagans, who will think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you are forgiven men in their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, 
Neither will your father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Isaiah's prophecy of the Word of God being like water from heaven invites us to contemplate the presence of God's Word, its dynamic activity that bears fruit in our life. Prayer is our way of contemplating and responding to God's Word such that God's will can be done on earth as in heaven. And now with humble hearts we bring our prayers before the Lord. For all members of the church, may the power of God's word Enable us in a bearing abundant fruit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For civic leaders, may the word of the Lord be the water that makes their labor fruitful and just. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For our community of faith, may God transform our lives into witnesses of His goodness, truth, and beauty. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died in the feet of Christ, especially souls in purgatory, may they one day rise with Him to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, accept these prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this as your Christ of glory. Amen. Blessed are you, God of creation, for the goodness we have, we, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and woke up from his hand, you will become proud, the bread of life. For the goodness we have since the wine, we offer you fruit of the vine and walk of human hand and will become our spiritual drink. Upon them like the two also, that they may become proud of the body and 
blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his uh, passion, into his breath, and giving that thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Hey, this day is all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chariot, and once more giving them thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Hey, this day is all of you and drink from it, for this is the cherished of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the name of me. Now, Mr. We are paid. We proclaim the Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving the thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, brethren throughout the world, and bring the her to the fullness of charity, together with crowns of gold and place of bishop and gold that bear. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome and thank you to life in the faith. And mention us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, the most great father, with the blessed apostles, with St. Jacob, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in your life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God, O my Father, in the union of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor be yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.